How's it going, people? Welcome back to the channel. I'm not going to lie. I missed you all. It has been a while, but it's good to be back. First and foremost, allow me to say Happy New Year to you all. Uh, may you achieve all your goals, hopes, dreams, and aspirations. And may we all just have a prosperous 2022. Welcome back to the show, peeps. Um, of course, you know, I wouldn't be sitting here alone. It's very boring for me to talk to myself. So allow myself to introduce my first guest, who's also a regular, regular of mine. Uh, welcome, Mr. Benny B. How are you, my brother? I'm good, bro. I'm good, bro. Just want to apologize to the viewers because like, I hear you didn't say lateness is greatness. Just want to tell you my apologies, that we left my apologies. That, we lateness left that in greatness. 2021. The, 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 the key try. word for 2022 is punctuality. <laughs> let's try that let's try that my brother you know what i think we should actually do that you know it's all these technical issues i'm on a yeah. quarter pass quarter pass already yeah i think you need to go an hour earlier bro an hour earlier when you start your prep <laughs> but happy new year to, to you my man happy new year to you compliments the season to everyone um so, let's do this compliments let's to do Jigga, this man nigga yeah. yeah welcome Jigga. compliments to Jigga as well man and of course Beaster will be here later. He has it for me that he is on the way, so he will jump on and catch up as well. But of course, a man who, I must admit, when I first started this podcast thing, and my actual first podcast that I had, we were all sitting around the table. This man caused quite a stir and was extremely controversial that it was one of my most viewed videos as well. So welcome back, Trilla the Illust. How are you, my guy? I'm well, man. I'm happy to meet you guys. Uh, uh, brilliant, brilliant new year for you guys, and I'm well. Yeah. How are you? I'm good, my guy. Oh, I'm good. Yo, your mic is a bit whoa. <laughs> oh. Hi, 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 hi. My bad. Is my bad aggressive? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Overpowering, but it's good to have you back, Tristan. It's good. You know what? Let's start. I think, uh, I think seeing it's fitting that the two of you are sitting here. Um, I think there's only one place where we got to start, and that is Manchester United versus Wolves. Benny, I'll start with you. Give me your thoughts on the game. Um, for me personally, Wolves dominated you guys. Um, what did you make of it? Bro, we just have this habit of making these relegation teams sitting at the bottom look like prime Bayern Munich, prime Barcelona. If you look at Norwich, if you look at Newcastle, if you look at Wolves, all the same thing. We were dominated thoroughly from start to back. The whole team was poor, except Phil Jones. And that says a lot. If a guy that has been out for two years is your best player on the pitch, it says a lot for the team and where the team is at. And if that guy is Phil Jones, then you know you are royally fucked. Better. And that's what it was. We were royally fucked by a Wolves yes. team that knew exactly how... To play against us, they could see, like the manager said within the first, first three minutes, he knew exactly where the spaces would be going up against United. And it's too soon to blame a coach. These players have been doing this under Solskjaer, so I don't know who to blame, but this formation is not working. And if the formation is to work, he needs to get the players within that squad who can play in that formation, which is not doing at the moment, because but our, our front line is bordering on 90 years old. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you're going to win a league or get the top four with pensioners <laughs> running the front line where you have Anthony Marshall, you have Ilanga, you have Ahmad, everybody that can play this position and the way you want them to. So I think that the player power in the dressing room at United now is stronger than any manager. And I hope that Matt Harry Maguire was not injured when he was dropped from the squad <laughs> in the week. And that is one way of Ralph trying to pull this dressing room right. But there's a serious disconnect between what the manager wants them to do and what they are doing on the pitch. There's a serious disconnect between the midfield and the forward line. It's non-existent. And I think he tried to make an example of leaving Bruno out where he had to leave Ronaldo out. So it's the wrong person that he tried to make the example of because when Bru the game cried out for Bruno. The game cried out. And I don't think mm. that a 3-1 to Crystal Palace is going to change anything. Not Crystal Palace. Um, Burnley. Fuck, I want to remember. Burnley. Without Burnley. Bruno, is, it's... Solskjaer did the same thing. Where 
one week a player would perform and that player would be in the starting 11 forever and if a player did not perform he would be dropped forever and i see ralph is doing the same thing and what worried me from the start of the ralph was he had a two hour conversation with oleg and the before he met the players now mm-hmm. automatically that tells me that Soksha's problems has now become ralph's problems and that's why we're still mm-hmm. seeing donnie not starting we're still seeing jesse mm-hmm. not starting because what Soksha saw in them to not make the starting 11, he most definitely let Ralph know. And if that is the case, then these players need to go because they are doing nothing but causing unrest in the dressing room because they're not playing. Martial, Jesse Lingard, Donny, Henderson, Pai, all of them are deadwood. And it was Soksha's fault to not let them go. Ralph is going to have to, this January window will be extremely, extremely important for us to let these fringe players go. And I don't see a lot of incomings besides a centre de- a centre defensive mid, which we need. And maybe mm. Alvarez if Martial goes, but Fuck you. we need to get rid. We need to get rid going forward. Not... And January is the perfect time to do so. I echo I echo those exact sentiments. I echo those exact sentiments, my man. Like um, for now, it's your, once those players cross that white line, that's you can only blame the players. There's no manager that will come in here and fix it. Tristan, what did Bruh, you make basics, of it, my man? Sorry, um, sorry, sorry, Devin. Sorry, 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 Devin. No, no. Three passes That's together, right. United couldn't do. Three passes together, United couldn't <laughs> do. You can't blame a manager for that, bro. You can't <laughs> blame a manager for, 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 for trying to install motivation. Energy. He's not supposed to do that. That is supposed to come from you as a player. We keep thinking <laughs> that managers are responsible for that. They are not. They are not. If, if, if they were beaten by tactics, by all means, but they were beaten by energy. They were dominated. They didn't win the second balls. They lost their personal battles. Managers not to blame for that. Sorry, no, Tristan. I agree. No, it's fine. <laughs> Tristan, what did, what did you make of it? Um, you united after him. From, from, goal, from the first military, I saw this is bullshit. Because you can't let a team come on your home ground and control the game. They must be chasing what? From the first moment. Oh, yeah. And it, it happened against Norwich, like you said. You know the thing against Burnley? Burnley was just poor on the day, so we looked good. But Burnley was poor. So we looked good. But the performance so far this season, no, no. I'm not seeing top four. We need a new squad. Not a team, a squad of 30 players. New. Everything new. And <laughs> that Ralph is not our coach. We must know that he's going upstairs. So we must just get a good coach. And maybe for me, this performance is so far. Arsenal was poor that time. We won there. But no, no, United is, yeah, you will understand. Then United is tearing me apart because they shut houses, shut houses. I couldn't have said Sorry, it. I, I could not have said it. They depress you, no, bro. They depress you, bro. No! Like, like, no. like, 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 yes. like, like, they fuck up your weekend. They fuck up your week. If you play on a Monday, you must know your week's fucked up. If you play on a yeah. Saturday, you must know. Bro, thank God we don't hardly play on a Friday. Yes. <laughs> That's mad. That's mad. What have you made of his new formation, <laughs> Trilla? What have you made of his formation? The 4 2 2 His formation? This formation do not suit the players we have at this moment. We need legs. If you play so, such a formation, you need legs. Tom, let it. That's most players that you are going to play for Derby. They can't. They done. Scott, I don't know what they see about Scott. Scott is not a footballer. Scott, he must go to the army. But... Yeah, there's no. I don't know why the Bruce on the bench and it's our only attacking footballer. But yeah, you have the owner, John. I don't. I don't I think. Right, Scott. All right, Scott. As I think Scott with a proper sentiment would would flourish because what I love about Scott is his mentality and his attitude is not so much his talent and his quality. I pick ten Scott McTominays over ten Brunos that is not up for it. I think pick 10 Scots that is up for it over 10 Ronaldo mm-hmm. that's not up for it. You know what I mean? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand that. Uh, yeah. that, that is why Phil Jones was our best player in the week because it meant the most to him. 
And yeah. for you, that's playing for United. Every single game is supposed to mean the most. So now, Here we, we go. have in our squad, we have in our squad players that think they are bigger than the club. That is yes. the biggest mistake that you can have in a dressing room. Because they play all the loads. That is almost what, 10 times, 10 times the, the followers that the actual club has. <laughs> it's difficult to control a player like that, especially with the ego the size of Ronaldo. And Ralph has never coached players of this ilk yet. He can be a manager and a coach and a director for 40 years. He's never managed a world-class elite player like Ronaldo in a dressing mm. room. And especially coming to a dressing room that is divided because that is what basically got Ole Gunnar Sauks a set. Mm. Extremely difficult. And look, Ralph still has my 100% support. 100%. Because yeah, we have to be we can't see it. It's like it's the biggest mentality, man. The mentality is weak. Hundreds, hundreds. I agree with hundreds, bro. So they just go to they play for the chip, they're not playing for the badge. True. Ah, That's why they all have exploded wages and we can't get rid of them because look, Sevilla wants Martial. Everybody wants Martial. But I feel the only club that can actually afford him is Newcastle because he's on, what, 220000 a week? Which would have <sighs> any player at Sevilla. Mm. Any player. He would come in being the highest earner on loan. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. In United States straight that they want 100% wage fee. They're not going to budge on that. So now you're going to sit with another player for six months that's not going to play. Yeah. Same that you're doing mm. with Tony, the same that you're doing with Jesse, the same that you're doing with Dean Henderson. Exactly. The, what is Ahmad doing there? Why is he not on? Yeah. What's he, what, what is he doing there? Why do you spend mm. almost 40 million on a kid that you mm. warm the bench with? What is the point? He's not playing for under 23s. You keep him in the squad. You keep him in the squad, but he doesn't get a two minutes. He never got to two minutes under Sokshire either, besides if it was a mm. fuck up, throwaway game, either way. What is the point? So that is why it is so confusing and frustrating because who is to blame? Is it the players that the managers can't trust to put on the field? Or is the managers just... I don't think that Sokshire and Ralph can have the same approach to players mm. not playing. You understand? Exactly. Mm, 100% so, I'm so, with so, you. So, 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 a, a totally different manager... Same, same issue. So who's to blame? Mm -hmm. As a player. A player. Yeah. Look, do you think, do you guys think um, that there's too many players that are suited to different systems, if I'm making sense? Some can press, some can't press. Some can yeah. do this, some can't do that or what? Yes, yes. And that comes in with balance. There's no balance mm. in the squad. That's that, is why, uh, that, balance. that is why a, a coach or a manager needs time to develop. The perfect example of this is Jürgen Klopp. I mean, we, yeah, I only start, Liverpool started winning shit after four years. We mm. saw a remarkable change in their running from the first season of him being a manager, but we didn't see a, a massive change or upward trend in the results. So that took four years. They, 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 okay, one year when they came second to City, by a point that was just that's never gonna happen ever again in the season that it will be so close but mm. a proper manager needs time to get the players in the squad that can play to his formation now i feel within united squad they have that we have a squad we have such a bloated squad of such quality players enough to play any formation under the sun under any manager mm. but mm. do they have the balls to drop the egos do they have the pools mm. to drop the big name players? They don't. They don't. So it's going to be as you were. As you were. Enough. Welcome, Pista. How are you? How's it going, guys? Happy New Year. Well. Happy New Year to you, my brother. I'm saying to you guys. Yo, I just see I sad United it. faces here. <laughs> I just say, is that blunt? Manchester United. What have you made of it lately, my brother? Nah, I... I I was with him the first two weeks. I saw a change, but then I don't know if it was just me, but it's almost like the energy is gone from like when everyone, when he got there, everyone was all hyped up and in happy for the new change and whatever. But now it seems like an effort for them to do what he wants him to do. Mm. Personally, I still feel the same. 
the formation doesn't suit the players that he has. Mm. Like, if you have a, a full squad full of right wingers and left wingers, that formation is not going to suit you. If Liverpool must try formation, it will never work. Mm. But because are you going to use? I I always told Benny I like Sanch, um Greenwood on the wing, not as a number nine. Mm. That formation suits Cavani and Ronaldo perfect to be two on front. But they want balls in the box. That's two of the best headers in the Premier League that you can give mm. a ball to. But if you can there's have... A there's a disconnect. <laughs> yeah, I think you're talking about my, my connection. is a disconnect. No, 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 no. It means there's a disconnect. As, as I'm saying, there's something, there's a disconnect between our midfield and our forwards. Bradley, so I say, I'm so cock said, I'm not even in the kit. No, I rushed back. That's why I'm late, man. I, the children went out for a day and then I came nah, back. I can see your forehead is sunburned. I can see your forehead is sunburned. But no, my forehead is here. That is here. As a good brand. No, nah, but I still feel, man, with that players, if, if it was Ole or Ralph or anyone there, the formation that enhances your wingers will suit the players that they have. It's the same way mm. Trent play by us. He might not fit in any other team and be mm. the best right back in the world, but for Liverpool, he does it perfect because it suits him. Mm. That's the players' clock one. It took him four years to get the players that he wanted to suit his system, and now he's got mm. his players, and now it's paying off. Ralph can come in there with the best formation, but if you have players that is going to play in the middle, that should be on the wing, or strikers that's going to play wide, that should play up front. It, it's I don't see the change happening this season. To be yeah, but it's still plays four three two one. What's it? Four two three one. He still plays four two three one. If you look but at the, Ronaldo... on, 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 on on paper, it says four two 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 two. But it's still the 4 <laughs> 2 3 one. But now, how do you play Cavani and Ronaldo in the 4 2 3 one Ren- Cavani plays in the position that Bruno plays in, in the 4 2 3 one. That is not which Cavani. Did, which he did, exactly. Which he did is not. in the week. Because they will start no. out 4 2 2 2 2 2. But, but, if you look at it, it's like the players are, they have the blinkers on. It's still the 4 2 3 one. Exactly. Matic, McTominay, the- Cavani. Greenwood, Sancho, Ronaldo up front. When did you see a ball be put in the box where Ronaldo and Cavani was to get in the box? Hardly. Hardly. Never. never. Hardly. Never. So do they Hardly. play the 4 2 2 2 2 2 2 2? No. Then, then you rather go for the kill and play that 4 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 Play at the back, you have three center backs. Play all three of them at the back. Play your wing backs wide. There's a reason why we're not coaches by United. There's a reason, bro. There's a reason. There's a reason why we're not coaches by United. Yeah, that team. That team. I want to ask this one. Okay, sorry. Go ahead. Go go ahead. My thing is if you want to get the best out of the players, you play a deep holding midfielder. Very deep holding midfielder. You play two in front of him. You play two wide and you can still play your two up front. You play one holding midfielder. Like if you play just two, even if you just play two in the middle and you play two quality wingers that's going to run and cross the ball, then you can put Ronaldo and Cavani in the box. Everybody's freezing. You freeze now. Pista, you froze now. No, I didn't. didn't I, not you. I heard him. I heard him. I heard him. I heard him. It's me, it's me, it's me. That's yeah, fine, a short. Trilla, would you sign, would you get rid of now in the January window? I will get rid of 30 players and get moved. Uh, I will take the whole West Ham team, the whole starting level of West Ham, I will put them together. And I'm good enough for them in the season. Yeah. I get rid of everyone, everyone. Get rid of 30 players and how's that director of football? Yeah. <laughs> my thing is, Ole was the problem. Now it's the players is the problem. No, the players were always so, the problem. The players were always the problem. Everyone was Ole out. Why was everyone Ole out? Because mm, people didn't want to blame the players. Players out. Are, players out. Got players out. Like as mother that Bruce said, there's thirty of them. <laughs> How? How? I, my thing is, if your camp is happy, you can play any cocky eleven. You're gonna get the result. Or not mm. just the, but the positive display on the pitch. If your camp is happy, 
Did you see the photo of how we came out? Did you see the photo of how we came out? That, that, uh, no less. We don't smash yeah. beer. What the fuck Liverpool are we doing in our crack? Again, we played well. I'm happy. Not happy, but I'll accept the defeat. But if like you Arsenal play, against City. Yeah. Like, mm. if you play, that like, example. Mm. Okay, I'm not going to lie. That one did hurt me, though. Let's let's talk about it, actually. Let's talk about that game. Look, I'm not going to lie. Um, I didn't give us a shot in hell against City. I thought we were going to get pammed like we always do. You know, when you play like that and you come away with nothing, I feel like a kid who just had his first tooth extracted and then he's waiting for the tooth fairy to come. But before the tooth fairy can come in, somebody has come in and snatched my tooth. But <laughs> w- what did you... And I'm sitting there, I got nothing in my shoe. I've got literally nothing. Who's after next such a, Who? Of a, Is it the ref? Pip. Pip. <laughs> pip. pip Bernardo's Bernardo all... Bernardo's granite. No, 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 no. Let, let me get this straight. Let me say this totally clear for any Arsenal fan. Arsenal beat Arsenal. We shot ourselves in the foot. So people can blame the refs, you can blame this, you can blame that. But let's be honest, if Granit Xhaka doesn't do what he's always been doing, which I've been saying he's going to be doing, then and if Gabriel doesn't do madness, and if Gabriel Martinelli converts his chance, and if we take our chance in the first half, we win that game. That's the way mm. I feel. I don't know how do you guys feel about that. The red card for me was really the a red card. Game. Yes, because the, the why first, the first yellow. Fuck first me. yellow. You deserve to be sent yeah. for that. Yeah, you fully deserve My thing is, the and second one is also stupid because he wasn't the last man and it's on the halfway line. If he exactly. didn't have a yellow, I would have understood he took that yellow against Jesus. Uh, because the ref would have sent him off for that. He would have given him just one yellow. Hmm. The penalty spot yellow, for me, oh, that, that's, I expect that from someone that is 19 Sunday years old. League. Sunday league. Exactly. Yeah. Like, how are they not going to see you do that, man? Like, mm. when in your mind do you think that you're going to do that and nobody's going to see you? No camera's going to This ball! Like, <laughs> it's like, it doesn't make sense. And if you're going to do that, no? And you're going to get sent off for another stupid yellow after that. Against City, if you get sent off for stupid shit like that, you deserve to lose. You deserve exactly. to lose. Mm. Uh, done. Exactly. Done. No, so, for- yes, that was a penalty on Odegaard. We all know that. Yes. VAR should have looked at both. And because VAR didn't look at the Odegaard one, they shouldn't have given the Bernardo Silva one. For me, that's kicks. But and the my, red card my, the game. my opinion on VAR is still the same. I don't... There should be no panel. There should be a pause in the game. The match on-field official goes to the screen, makes up your own mind. Don't let exactly. this week three people upstairs say, no, it's not. And, and the wording is wrong. The wording makes the ref look like he's stuck wrong. A clear and obvious error. Why must you yeah. put it out that way? Like, that is a bit your ass. Like, on the ref, he made an uh, obvious error. Not thinking that the ref only had two seconds to make it blow or don't blow. Because within the action, he must blow or not blow. But now he has the opportunity to go stand there and lament it. Look at the screen from all angles and then decide. Mm-hmm. Now they say if they're going to do that, it's going to be a long game. It's not going to be a 90-minute game. Mm. It's going to be a two-hour game. We're doing it now, but now we're choosing when to do it and when not to do it. Was Brad is like an eight-second challenge by Mane was a play today. I I actually don't feel it was. Even if it was because it was early, that's not my reason for not being ready. It's red. It's red. It's so early. Nah, Riff's not going to get so early. For that that type of foul, I always look. On the replay, you would see the player causing the foul. Does he do that? If he looks where the player is, that for me, that's intention. Because now he's going up for the ball, he's looking where he is. Now he put his elbow. But he doesn't was have looking to. at the ball and he did that. Doesn't have to look, he doesn't have to look where he's going in order to elbow him. If he moves, he you know what saved him actually? If he moves his head by one second just to the side and he elbows him, I think he's gone. Because my nah, has is gone. That. Nah, that, I don't think so. For me, that, 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 that challenge in the 60th minute is a red. In the f- first eight seconds, no ref is going to give that. No ref is yeah. going to give that red. Mm. No ref is going to give that red. Who? Think... Who? Look. When I don't know. Uh, my personal Small opinion is... Did. I don't know if you guys <laughs> remember the Arsenal-Liverpool game. What incited Arteta? Yeah. 
at Mane's elbow. I think it was on Tomiyasu, I think, or something. I'm not too sure. Mane did the same thing yeah. against Kieran Tierney last year as well. So he's got a history for it. But overall, Beastle, mm. what did you make of the game itself? Let's take that in, I, incident totally out of isolation. Let's take it out. <laughs> what did you make of the game? Because I thought you guys started like a house on fire. But I did not see that comeback from Chelsea coming. I didn't see it either. My thing was that is just Chelsea not giving up. They they played like they weren't 2 no down. They played like they were no no. The game after that half an hour, you would think that okay, they're gonna go for the kill or play until half time. They played their game like it's normal. Out. That first goal, Molner should never have fouled him there. That for me, you don't foul someone there. And then be to go check that goal. For three people standing in front of a goalkeeper and they're all far from him. They go be on it. That crowd booed him whole game. Just for checking that. Liverpool mm. lost the plot there. Bradley was saying boys cut, and that's why it's <laughs> not, not on FIFA. <laughs> I thought I said <laughs> something about Ben. It's out to do bring Ben Dyken with the second goal. Where he runs straight to the yeah, box. Definitely. <laughs> definitely. Definitely. <laughs> Your defense for the second goal. Like I, I said I was shaky a few months ago. You said that. Everyone you said that. Like, nah, you did. <laughs> what do you, you expect did. Van Dyke to come back from injury and be the best? I said, not the point. Bench him. If he's 75, bench him. Mm. Ben Van Dyke wasn't playing Kunati. was our number one. Oh, he was doing the business mm. like we needed him to do it. Van Dyke was mm. poor. He didn't have a <laughs> pass, a crossfield pass. He was safe. How many times did he see Trent against Chelsea be in the middle of the park? Sit in the centre-back row. Why? Why was he so much there when he made that mistake, when Keller made the save? That was Trent. But where did Trent get the ball? By the circle. Trent is never there by the, by the D. Trent moved over and covered for them the entire them, game, yeah. which is not exactly. like that. It looks and like people are tweeting. That, you just see people are tweeting mm. that Van Dijk avoids one-on-ones, Visto. In the game, he will, he will, he will run away to avoid a one-on-one in order to not get beaten one-on-one. And they showed that, like that countless clips, countless clips of him actually running away from the danger, trying to mark someone else and leaving it up to the other centre back, where he could have made the tackle, like he could have mm. done on Pulisic. But- that comes down, okay, I understand why you would do that. If, it, if it's very obvious in the game, we would have all picked it up. The reason why you would do that in the game, because he needs to be the last man. We need to realize yeah. if we can die, we in tuck. So yeah. if it means that Trent has come over for that two seconds to come and cover and there's enough space for him to drop, he will do it. So I don't see him being scared like he doesn't want to be the one to go one-on-one. I just feel that the rest of the players puts him in that situation because you don't really want your centre back to be one on one, especially if you have been in the, middle. the whole time, be... and especially Chelsea's front three to run at you. That's why yeah, I you say it again. Had... The point. Mm. Don't bench and Dyke is not Maguire. My thing is, in... he doesn't have to be a Maguire. Henderson had a shock, bro. Henderson had a shock. No, in the they were running shocking. through him in the midfield. But also, Kante is just pure genius. The man is pure brilliant. He has 18 lungs. The way Kante he went through, shocking. there was like two spells. He went through past four players and he made it look like nothing. Yeah, they ran through and the my problem is, when you defend Kante, they don't expect that goal against United, they always bring it up. You don't expect him to take players on. You don't expect him to shoot. Yeah. So, when he gets the ball, how do you react as a midfield? Exactly. Space, close the options. Mm. When Pulisic or Mount has the ball, you're going to close him. Because mm. that's the mentality mm. everyone has. Kanta, he's a number six. He might just sit back. He's a holding mm. midfielder. True. But they don't use him like that anymore. He did that by Leicester last. He scored for Chelsea against United. Yeah. He scored like mm. it against uh, Leicester. He, mm. the, the way he plays at... It's deceiving to the opponents because yeah, it is, what... yeah. So what do you do now? That's now why you're closing. Kante is the best. He's the best in the defensive mid that doesn't play in the defensive mid. He knows what to do. Yeah, when to do it. Mm, he knows what oh, to yeah. do and when to do it. And he's a silent wanna... killer. Go ahead, go ahead. No, no, no. I wanted to actually ask Trilla now and ask you all. Um, seeing that we're honored, let's first talk about the title race. Tristan, is that the title race done? Yes, sir. How do you feel? 
Sorry. 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 Yeah, you know, know my soul. I want to say United. Okay. I'm going to say United first. Man. It's United. Sheffield United. Newcastle United. <laughs> <laughs> Manchester United. Okay, okay. That's just what I'm sure. Um, Penny, I don't see that it's title. Not done. It's not done. It's not, not done. done. It's not done. Yes, City was the big winners of this weekend for us because when two giants meet, one must fall. They both fell. Mm. So it was the perfect result for City because they won their game. But mm. like I told you guys, City must still get their slump. They, they didn't have their slump up until now. Yes, they had a shitty start to the season. But they did not have their slump. Chelsea was currently in the slump. When they took on the world. Yeah. And they played brilliantly. They were in the slam. And Liverpool is waffling now. The last five minutes, Chelsea came back into the game. And actually, in the second half, showed who Chelsea actually is. So, City is going to get this slump. I yeah. can predict now when it comes to Champions League. Because we all know that that is Pep's mm. right now. It's not this league. He, I don't think he wants to win another He wants the Champions League, yeah. He wants the Champions League. But, <clears throat> like I said also to be Easter... You, Liverpool and Chelsea must just make sure that the gap that they leave City don't run away with it by January, by the end mm. of January. Mm. And I told Benny, I fully agree with what you're saying. We Pep will focus on Champions League, but City's B team can go ahead with the league. Exactly. They can, yeah. <laughs> they can but a suffer now, Bisto. A suffer now with COVID <laughs> and injuries and the amount of games that they also play. I don't get me started so, on COVID and Liverpool. I don't think it's COVID. Please, please look at City's bench. Look at City's bench. They have not that strong bench. If you look at it, they have quite a number of academy players within the bench that Liverpool doesn't have, that Arsenal doesn't have, that United doesn't mm. have, that Chelsea definitely doesn't have. Exactly. They have quite I agree with a you. few academy players. So their squad isn't as big as you might think. I mean, one more injury to a left back or a right back, and they are fucked. One of the left yeah. backs is in jail. So. <laughs> <laughs> allegedly, so, allegedly, on YouTube allegedly, you must say allegedly, allegedly. He's allegedly a rapist of alleged eight girls. Allegedly, yeah, 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 yeah. It's a moose alleged. You'll get me cancelled. Allegedly, allegedly. Yeah. allegedly. <laughs> but yeah, the but team yeah, isn't no. as big as we might think it is. Yes, they have a good backup player to each position, but there's going to come times where they are both out. It's a long season, a lot of games. True. Just make that. sure that you know. Beast, how do you see it Just going? Now, the title for me is not sorted yet. I see City will they they must still play us. So mm. that's that game is going to be very important mm. in the title race. City, like Benny said, they're going to focus on Champions League. So I feel that their wobble is going to come when it's Champions League again. I don't mm. see them slipping up points now because the pressure isn't on when you have a gap of this big like if, if your gap is 6.7 points you know you can slip up one so the pressure is not mm. on them now so they're going to play the normal game and that's all they need to do because city gets away with what they got away with on saturday that like many mm. always say the game you're not supposed to win you win they weren't no, supposed yeah, to win yeah. that game on saturday mm, exactly yeah yeah get three points. That, that's that, all that, that they need but that is the only time that City had to dig in like that for the season, eh? They didn't have to mm. dig in like that against anyone. Even the game that they lost against Spurs, they suddenly dominated. This was different. Yeah. Arsenal, Arsenal were up for it. But also as good as Arsenal were, City were poor. They lacked energy. They were nowhere in the midfield. They, they the were team, the, 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 the individual players. Nah, they weren't up for it, bro. They weren't That's up what I'm saying. Arsenal. Do you think they're getting tired well, now? Do you think the fatigue is starting to hit them now? Bro, it's hitting everyone. The, the results that you're seeing now, it's not normal. All these games mm. are after each other. Every third day, it's a game. And now you're getting players that, 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 that they say is asymptomatic to COVID. We don't know what the, 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 the long-term effects of that shit is. These players mm. can be fatigued. Mm. We don't know. So, and if you look at it, majority of most of the big squads got COVID. Mm. I mean, look at Liverpool now. The guy that stood in for Klopp because Klopp had COVID. 
now it's COVID. Who's yeah. gonna step in? Pista, mm. I want to actually ask you, um, our game is cancelled to tomorrow night. What have you made about? Are you happy with the cancellation? How do you feel about it? Liverpool must be kicked out. I'm not. To be honest, if Liverpool, if this was the first game that was going to be postponed due to COVID, Liverpool would not have put in anything. Remember that EFL game we had when we had the World Club Cup game also? Yeah. I remember we played the key. They fixed the two games like they two days show apart. It on TV. We need to didn't play. Show that. Oh. Yeah, they needed to play our youth team in there because they weren't willing to reschedule. Now mm. they made the, the rules themselves, the criteria of what you can and what you can't do. If you have that amount mm. of players in and that amount of, uh, of coaching or background staff in, you can play. If not, you're more than allowed to appeal and win the appeal because it's not that difficult. And on mm. that, I wanted to say that's where City is going to also be an advantage where all of us exactly. must catch up with the postponed games. Mm, we, exactly. That's the thing. Yeah. Have games. So, who's going to get If we won all our games in hand, Beaster, we'd be what? One point behind Liverpool. Three points, yeah. four points ahead of Arsenal. Where and that is, how do you play that game? How do you play all that games? It's going to be a, Christmas, it's a second Christmas game. You're still going to get your Christmas games now where you yeah. play. Thrice in a week. Yeah. yeah, and I must remember it's FA Cup, it's Champions League. Everything is coming up at the same yeah, time. Yeah, all of that is and out I... when it's Christmas. Yeah, so, exactly. so it's going to be every three, three days a game. Every three... How do you have a squad big enough for that? No exactly. one does. No one does, yeah. True. No one does. Yeah. Trilla, how do you feel about it? Games being postponed. When nice, thank you. It's, it's fucking us up, man. It's fucking everyone up. Oh. That's now, we can't help it with the COVID. We can't help with that. It's part of the life now at the moment. But it's fucking us up. And as you like it, we don't have legs. Once again, no legs. True. We're going to get I fucked, really. No. Yo, we I don't agree. have legs. I agree oh, with Bradley 100%, bro. You can't talk about games in any. You can't win the game that you're playing right now. There we go. Exactly, facts. Let's talk about um, in, um relegation battle. Newcastle have signed Trippier. Trippier. Do you see more players coming in? Do you think Newcastle can survive? And would you guys tip to go down? Do you guys still remain with your same options that you picked? Benny, how do you, I'll start with you, my man. Yeah. I remember options that I picked. I always remember. I'd like, what I'd, I'd, like, I'd like Burnley to go down because I don't think they are squad that's capable of being in the league. For so fucking long, they play cuck football. And it's not <laughs> to go down because I can't believe a squad that is not as his quality is even in the league. And then there's Newcastle, which I pray go down because you can't come into this league and just buy shit. They need exactly. to buy and go to the championship and work for this shit. Not sign Trippier and Mbappe and Haaland in January <laughs> and just try to stay in the league. No, it doesn't work like that. So please do get relegated, Newcastle. And that's my three. Burnley, Norwich, Newcastle. I want that's Watford how it is now. Up. But if, yeah. if Watford, if Watford, if Watford does get relegated, that means Newcastle is safe. Fair enough. Peace. I think Burnley, Burnley, Newcastle, Burnley and Norwich for me is a done deal. The way they're playing, they can't fight back from that. Man. Newcastle, we don't know what they're going to do in this month now. Who they're going to mm. bring in. And how that's going to fit. That can be a, a cuck idea to get all those players in and then you go further down in what you already are. Or it can exactly. be something to stay up. So I'm with Benny on that one. I wouldn't want Watford to go down. And to be honest, I wouldn't want Newcastle to go down either. But if you put it in context where they're going to be in the league with all that money and be a city number two, then I also wouldn't want them there either. So... Yeah. For me, the two that I would want to go down is Burnley and in Norwich. Mm -hmm. And the way the football is going now, I wouldn't mind yeah. Watford, Newcastle, or Leeds going down. Because they're and all a proper cuts. manager. And a proper manager mm -hmm. Newcastle. Even mm -hmm. though Idiao has been playing some suit. They are playing nice, so, though, right? I mean, if you, guys, mm -hmm. if you, you can't compete a good game against United to anything. You can't because <laughs> United can be shit and make any team look like fucking, like I said, prime Bayern Munich or prime Barcelona. Mm. Fair so, enough. I'd be sad for Idiao, but 
Newcastle, no. I don't think they'll if they manage to get relegated. The Saudis. The Saudis. Sorry, I think that, the Newcastle. That, that, that even with all that money, who they're going to sign in the, in the championship? Do you mm. think Allen? Do you think Mbappe? Do you think Messi? Nah, think uh, anybody will go to Newcastle while they're in the championship. They need to sign there. No fucking way. Yeah, they but... won't be able to perform on that small wheels. I mean, it's a lot of watching the game. <laughs> yeah. Listen, how, do you, how do you see it going? I you see Newcastle it? staying. Newcastle is going to stay. There's, there's players that is not playing at their clubs right now. And Newcastle gives them money. They will just come and keep Newcastle in the print. And eat the pitch. But I think Newcastle was stable. But Norwich is going burn as a tool that must go. Yeah. But I think Newcastle will make it. Man. Like yeah, a team, we... maybe they say like a team, someone like that. Just like three or four. Three three. Three players. I see Villa want a team, no? Mm, and, so and Arsenal. And Arsenal. Also, Tristan, also. Tristan, Tristan, if Newcastle stays up, who else goes down? How is the city? Uh, uh, I'm going to lead. Leeds. Leeds. Leeds is going. I feel, I feel Leeds, Leeds is just in the, in the, in the injury fuck up. That's all. Mm, Once they get Bamford yeah. and Harrison and Rafinha. Yeah. They don't have a squad, man. Rodrigo. Back they, have, they, have, they have a small squad, but they have a quality squad, man. Whereas Burnley mm. is a hoop cuck. The whole <laughs> thing. New, Norwich is a hoop cuck besides Kali Gilmo and Brandon Williams. I, I don't think Leeds... Leeds, once they lose a Finia now, no? they're going to be yeah. even more tough. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, won four yeah. Games. they won four games out of 19. The injuries, I can say, was maybe five of that. 15 games. What mm. about the other 10 games that they could have won? Bamford hasn't been out yeah. for more than five games. But Peter, you must remember Leeds' level. Leeds' level is not to beat United, Liverpool, Chelsea, City. Leeds must beat the teams that is around them, which they do comfortably. They can get the fuck to 7 now. 7 now. 7 now. Okay, now with the injuries, yes. But last season. They won. And they won. Yes. Remember on our first spot when we said first manager to go, I said Bielsa. Mm. We did, yeah. Because of how they were playing. Mm. Yeah. And I, that was what? Eight games into the season. They and after yeah. nine, they yeah. and they only won four. You, you could have been sacked nine, everybody would have been fine. Did you see how you went on when they won nine the week? Yeah. If they had to lose that, I think he would have been sacked, to be honest. He's gone, yeah. Okay. <laughs> He's still there and Sokja sacked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that shit at the beginning of the season. Speaking, <laughs> speaking, of, man, speaking of managers that's going to get the sack, who do you guys see the next manager to get sacked? Ralph. <laughs> no, <laughs> no man. <laughs> man <says> Ralph. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. Who do you I see the next manager Bielsa. going? Bielsa. Rafa. Oh, I think the gingerbread man. The gingerbread man. Who's the gingerbread man? Rafa also, yeah. Rafa. Yeah. Rafa. 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 Rafa's also one of them. Hmm. Everything is doing bad. They are the color. Yeah. They are color. Oh. Uh, Devin is one of them. Rafa. I also think Rafa. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Rafa still the end of Shai Sack, man. Rafa still the end of Shai Sack. Like, how is Rafa? Yo, on this Ole? Maybe the next Ole is not the end. Like, I don't know if that Ole must be let out, man. Watching United still play some cack, no? And see, like, ah, he's still in his job. Rafa still in his man. job. <laughs> but he also still in his job. That man didn't sleep yet. He didn't sleep yet. Rafa is there. I think, how long is Rafa here? A month. Everyone didn't sleep. Yeah. Well. That's why you don't see him in public. It's just bags under the eyes, bro. Bags. Put that yeah. uh, heavy duty. Uh, that, uh, that's that, mad. Look. How's he feeling? He must feel cut. Yeah, nah. Must he, must, be. he must be feeling shit. Man of the week. I was actually going to ask Beast now, but he left. Tristan, man of the week. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Oh, you're all there. Beast, man of the week. Roddy. Uh, 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 Oh. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm going. Kovacic. Kovacic, he had a beauty of a game, no? He had a beauty of a game. But it was his midfield. 
it was his midfield. He, that's why I say Henderson was poor. He ran that midfield. Mm. I'm going to go for Gucci left side, but I'm going for Wolves' manager, Bruno Lodge. And now he set his team up to play against United. How in the game he changed everything. And now they changed the system in the second half to a thoroughly dominant performance. And they impressed me, Amur. So I was quite impressed with the team. <laughs> Well, no more. You like it could be our cock now, but Wolves were brilliant, I think. And I think team. That, that they were a team. They played as a team. And you know, I see that also from Nitteristan is Crystal Palace and the Vieira. They can lose yeah. the way they play. They look mm. like a proper coach team. Proper. You just need a few, just like two or three more players, then Patrick will be all right. Yeah. Uh, and also, 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 I want also to mention the good work that Wayne Rooney is doing in the championship with Derby. Remember, yeah, he's been brilliant. Doc 21, oh, points, yeah. no? Doc 21 points, and he can still keep him up. Mm, Rooney can, brilliant. that will be football's biggest miracle <laughs> if he can keep him up. Keep him up, yeah. I feel. Then you want yes. to take over there, but I still worry. <laughs> 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 I see there's seven people watching, but I only have three likes. Come, people, pump up those likes, pump up the likes. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Move it, move it, move it. You guys are moving like Arsenal. You're slow and labored. Peace. Man of the week, my man. I went for Lanzini. Lanzini. Fair enough. Move it, go. Right, left, right. Move it, go. Ah, nah, it was a nice goal. Brilliant finish. I'm going for Martinho. Uh, he was a brilliant. Uh, he, he was, he was my second choice. Uh, it was him, either him or, my, or Bruno. The only reason I'm not commenting on the United game is because I didn't watch it. I thought they were playing at 10. And I went on to the 60th minute. And that's all I saw yeah. was the last sorry, 30 minutes. Sorry, Devin, before we go on to that's flop fine. of the week. That's fine. That's also, fine. a special Come mention in. to Phil fucking Jones. Bro, yeah. that was amazing. Yeah. Two years. So he just cried when he left the pitch. He put his freak everywhere. But everyone is talking cut about him. At mm -hmm. the beginning, yes. But that's so yeah. that man put in a warrior no, performance. I don't see how that goal is his fault. No, it's not. He edited the ball out, he cleared it. Martino but you know, it it it. doesn't know that. Yeah, sometimes he could have beat the flick at all. So he could have seen it to the back. He could have beat it to the back. He cleared the ball this way, that way. Cut, man. He cleared the ball. He got to the ball. He cleared it. Close the brood down, he's gonna take the shot. Yeah, there's a midfielders. The midfielders need to do that time. That's yeah, time for the game. He can't, can't win the first and the second ball and blame him yeah. with the first ball. Mm. Cover the when whenever the ball is in the air, they say go for the second ball. No one closed him down. He mm. had the time of mm. his life before he took the shot. Everyone is over. Here. Too late. But Tommy Too was late. flying there. <laughs> the entire game was brilliant. Everything, every facet of his play. It was like it was prime Paul Jones and the Fergie play next to Ferdinand. That late right. Then I want to ask you something. Can the run speak English? Yes. Because it doesn't look so. Yes, he speaks perfect English. Perfect. Wow, was he also all over the place? He gave, he gave an interview in English as well. Yeah, but you don't, you don't look like a walk up here in my shirt. None of them look like who they are, but uh, we have Ronaldo that won five <laughs> Champions Leagues. He's cuck. We have a guy that won a fucking World Cup. He's Kala cuck. We have two players that won the Euros. Nah, but uh, I'm sorry. They, they are quality in their own right, but mm. not at present and not in performance. So you're not quality in history. We are talking about it right now. You can't, and then there we go. Okay, True. besides Cavani and Ronaldo and Matic, Mata, they are in their prime right now. Varane mm. is in his prime. Yeah, I agree. How long are we gonna have patience with Rashford? How long are we gonna have patience? Yeah, How long are we gonna have patience? True. And he's my I... fucking flop of the week. Who? Oh, Rashford. <laughs> <laughs> He was stuck when he came on. Three of the two minutes. The way you said that, my brother. Three of the two minutes. My flop of the week is Ronaldo. I watched it. 
I watched the game from when he came on. He came on and Bruno came on. Yeah. Bruno changed the game for the better and he should have scored. Bruno scored there that we yeah. the power we win the game. Mm. We win. And it, it, it's moments like that that can switch a game. But the entire True. result should never depend on a moment in the game. The entire result mm. should never depend on a hit against the ball, a missed one-on-one, on one, oh. a red card, maybe if it's depending on when it is in the game. Moments should never depend. The result should never depend on a moment in the game. That's why I say mm. Arsenal have no one to blame. They can't blame the rest because going into first, going into half time, they have to be 3-0 up. Oh, mm. One all was actually a kick in the teeth for Arsenal because mm. they thoroughly outplayed City. Things mm. could have changed the penalty, mm. but you had opportunities thereafter, straight after. And so, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, so you, in my in my defense is if you have a tough opponent like City, you get your one goal. So now you're pushing for the second, you get the opportunity like a penalty. That is your mm. second opportunity. City mm. might not allow you to get another opportunity in that game. Exactly. You did everything, yeah. right. you did everything right. And that was your two chances. You didn't get the second one. So now yeah. you go one out into the break. You did everything right. Second half come. A red card. That will kill any team because of the opponent that you got it. Mm. Yeah. 100%. True, I couldn't agree. Is he freezing or is it just me? He's freezing. Yeah, he's freezing. He's freezing. Like you want to kiss someone. Yeah. My flop <laughs> is <laughs> My flop is awesome, my man. Bro, yeah. like my, my flop is awesome. I wouldn't put it down. Yeah. I wouldn't put it down. To, I wouldn't put it down as the, a flop, that performance. Yeah. Not the performance, nah. but that again, is, no. throwing it away the result, again. Then what's the result? No, bro. Remember the reason for, the reason Chelsea. for me not saying that is because of <laughs> the opponents that often played. Uh, yeah, but I mean, though, yes. if you get one the cross, that's gonna be a flop every week because it's not gonna happen just this pause because it'll be every week. <laughs> no, but that, that when you when you when you kick when the ball goes out sure. with the standing uh, leg, and then you cross, the ball is already in the stands, and then and you cross. the footballer. He's a break dancer. He's a break dancer. A little pirouette, man. So cute. Pew. Pew. <laughs> Ref is like, pew. Go kick. The fuck? <laughs> Your Ralph didn't know what to do, bro. He didn't know what to do. He put his head through his cap. He's thinking, yes, yes. how? How? <laughs> how can players that is supposed to be this quality play so fucking shit? He was, and you know what I love about him, and what I always love about him, which I hope he never loses, is his honesty. If you look at his post-match interview, he will tell you exactly what went wrong, exactly mm. who's to. He he goes just short of mentioning a player by name. Mm. He only does that when he praises them. Only yeah. does that. He's going. He's going to say so. He's going to say. Don't worry. He's going to pull them by name. But I feel like yeah. I feel they're going to push him. I feel they're going to push him. Who are you referring to? Can you elaborate? <laughs> They're going to ask you. Oh, nah, I mean, that's 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 you know that when Stokes I left out there for today and he said goodbye to all the staff in the backroom staff, um, it was, I think it was in the kitchen staff that asked him, why didn't you out the players that basically got you sacked and you just shrugged his shoulders? Yeah, he never yeah. did that. Stokes I never out yeah. any single player once. Not once. And mm. I feel at the end of his reign, he could have, but I feel he thought of his legacy at United more than tarnishing mm. his reputation with the fans, the board, the players. So, he's not, that he type person, man. he's not that. And, and, you're and not you that type of person. That's what he hated right. of Mourinho. Yeah, he hated yeah, that of Mourinho. Yeah, it's not in your nature. Yeah, it's yeah, not in your nature. People can't force you to go into that. Like, people get OB against you, doesn't mean you must not go for the jugular or a low blow. Because it's not mm. like you. you that's going to bother yeah. you for the rest of your life. Because you yeah, know that's not me. Yeah. Exactly. Peace, your flop of the week, my man. I'm going to go United. From what I saw, I'm going to go United. Mm. And the result's not going for them. I don't have an individual from any of the other games that I could really point out to say no. It was close between Gabriel and United, but I wouldn't put it on Arsenal as a team. You can put them by close of them. Hey? You can put Van Dijk also in there. <laughs> nah, 
uh, an incident that changed the game more than as an individual was Gabriel. He's, mm. he's two or mm. two incidents that he did change the whole complexity of the game. Where Van Dijk could have prevented a goal, True. but it did, he wasn't cut as if it was a play in Liverpool, I would say Henderson. He had a worse game than Van Dijk. Oh. He, he was did. for the full mm. 90. Oh. He did. He did. Yeah. Final thoughts. Where should I start? Benny B, final thoughts, my guy. My final thoughts is a happy 80th birthday to if he's checked, if he's tuned in, which I know he always does. <laughs> a regular Alex. Show. A happy 80th birthday to Fergie. <laughs> 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 so, yeah. That's my final thought. Yo, that's the show. He's probably going to comment. Thought, he's he's, he's going to probably <laughs> comment now. <laughs> he's learning by Bradley, man. Huh? Nah, I say Fergie's learning there by Bradley. He's chatting with one, with one thing. <laughs> if he's there, if he's there, Fergie, come around. We'll make you a putty, bro. On me, on me. <laughs> nah, my final thoughts, I was really looking forward to tomorrow's game. Um, oh, yeah. Actually, that game's not going to happen. Um, mm. This week, I don't see teams going big on the FA Cup. Uh, I, I think because of COVID, players are, or teams are going to hold back a lot. They're going to treat FA Cup like a bloody EFL Cup. Mm. Then, yeah, we look forward to next week. But, yeah, it's good to be back. I'm, I'm glad to see so many names here in the comments. It's been a good yeah. festival. <laughs> season. We're all back. Back to the football. Mm. Let's hope COVID can fuck off so we can just mm. get our normal fixtures and not wake up the next morning and see there's only four fixtures <laughs> today. No early games, just four late games. But yeah, I've shot a lot there before having you. Well, Let's love, enjoy the love. FA Cup. Let our first yeah, ever kick off now. You early in your mood, bro. You early said. You early did yes, sir. Gone. But, but I prefer that because it's not United play cut, pa. Now you must go sleep and you can't sleep. Ah, uh, at least give you that two hours. So I prefer that. <laughs> <laughs> Tristan, final thoughts, my brother. Yeah, my final thoughts is just new faces at my club. I need a lot of new faces. This old age home must go. And I want to end top form and I want to end above Arsenal. That's my thing. Yeah, that's my final thoughts, gents. Is that, yeah, I know that because Spurs also, you understand, and the So, yeah. Not West Ham, not West Ham, Spurs, 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 Spurs and the Conte Spurs. is our biggest threat for top four. And, and the I'm, Conte, not, yeah. I'm not, I'm not putting Spurs. my on Arsenal, I'm not putting my on West Ham. If Arsenal do it now, they, because they should, they don't have any European fixtures and they don't. Mm. There we go. They, they should there just go. go straight on for the league. Because, okay, mm. you guys still have mm. the, the semi-final of the Carabao and your guys are still in the FA Cup. But, yeah. nah, you look don't have enough. the added extra of the play every three days. Once the Champions League goes on, you guys catch up all your 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 your, your games that is out outstanding. It's straight push for the league. Mm. Yeah, they have no excuses. They have no Arsenal excuses. have no excuses not to contend for the league because mm. they're not playing in Europe. There's no excuses. They have to contend. Exactly. I agree. I agree hundred percent. Gentlemen, I want to thank you guys. This has been awesome. It's good to have you guys back. I think we'll be back next week as well, just to review the FA Cup and obviously preview the weekend's fixtures. Love to all you guys in the comments. Welcome back. You know what to do. Like the thing, share the thing, subscribe. Thanks, gentlemen, for having me. Peace, Most love.